Ty McGee here coming to you from Orange County National. Well, I, I taught a couple players uh, yesterday online um, and, and we're looking at finding ways for the player to get a little bit more open at impact, okay? So uh, in the first example, um, the player pattern was he was focused on trying to hold the angle for a really long time through the ball and what was happening was as he was trying to hold the angle he was holding the angle and it was actually pulling him sort of to both of his toes especially the left toe and then making it hard so the only motion he had through the impact was this left shoulder would have to elevate straight vertical versus be able to go around him because of the pressure being so much into the left toe so with this player, what we focused on is, one, uh, uh, letting the club release a little bit sooner, but then as the club's releasing, the right shoulder and right hip would start rotating and moving through the ball more versus trying to pull the hands or hold the hands through the ball forever. So now as he was coming through, he was picturing that as he got to impact, the left hip and the right pocket we're starting to match up a bit more versus when he was in the toe, obviously this right pocket was stuck back here and then he had to try to offset that by pushing his hands forward versus if the right hip comes around, the right shoulder comes around, then I'm not pushing my hands forward and I still have an immense amount of lean uh, through the hitting zone, right? Um, the other part was as he was doing it, he was really paying attention to, okay, is my, am I going into my lead toe or as I do that, can I get a bit more into that push back into that lead heel, get that right pocket coming through, get, get him in a more open position, um, but not trying to spin open, right? So if I'm spinning open, my arms might be trapped behind me. Again, I'm releasing and going right pocket, right shoulder, and then that's allowing me to get more around the shot. With less club hold, I'll hit a flat one here just with that feeling. So I'm going right pocket, trying to get it matching with my left hip if you have the range to do it. And if you do that, it's really interesting. So this player again was struggling controlling height because as he moved to the left toe, the club would have to release. So he was trying to offset that by holding the handle. If you're able to go more to the left heel, then again, I'm able to use my right side and my right hip to help me control the flight of that golf ball versus this way, right hip, right shoulder back. I'm gonna lose the lose the ability to control that loft is going to be a lot harder to manage. I'm going to have to use more effort to hit that shot.